A democracy needs information. The quality of the information determines the quality of the democracy. We are watching democracy die in slow motion. And part of the reason I have a front row seat is because literally um, I could go to jail for the rest of my life. This is my 36th year as a journalist. Right now, journalists are vilified. We're the first to be attacked, which means anytime there's a play for power or money, they attack the truth tellers. I told you to avoid me. I'm telling the Filipino people, wag ako, it's gonna be bloody. You don't have to take away freedom of the press if you can intimidate them to take away their own freedoms. The Duterte administration proved to me that the best and only way to deal with them is in the light of day, which is what journalists do best. You give the benefit of the doubt to an incoming administration. I do as a journalist. But the more draconian the government becomes, the more hard-hitting our journalism becomes. Without facts, you can't have truth. Without truth, you can't have trust. But we created Rappler precisely because we wanted to be truly independent. The threat has always been there, but we just refuse to let it get in the way. And we keep going. We weren't the first news organization attacked, but we were the news group that stood up against it. In less than two years, I received 10 arrest warrants. The arrest warrant, and then this is the order of relief. Our problems are not legal, they're political. All attempts to prevent us from doing our jobs as journalists. You must fight while your rights are still strong. April 2019, at the launch of Trial Watch, that was when I first met Amal. At that point, she had said, you have an option, Maria, in how you want me involved. I can trial watch or I can represent you which one would you choose, <laughs> right? The highest authorities in the land are vilifying journalists. This is about freedom of expression. Yes. It's about protecting journalists and it's about protecting the rule of law. International attention has helped Rappler stay open. We're doing the right thing, but sometimes doing the right thing, if you're in the shadows, it just isn't enough. People tend to ask nowadays, you know, how do you find the courage? You know, were you scared? It's not about those emotions at all. It's about in the moment, as a journalist, you only have one way you can act. This is where the Constitution says our rights are. And there's a bulldozer trying to make us step back and voluntarily give up our rights. We refuse to do that. We hold the line.